guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. This haul that I'm going to do right now is a little bit of Jersey and a little bit of my local Dollar Tree because everything got mixed up in my car. So yeah, that's what's going on. So two things that I want to share. Um, actually, the little guy that I'm about to share with you guys that I, I thought I hauled him. Maybe I saw him and I filmed him in a walkthrough and I didn't um haul him but he's so cute this leprechaun i love there's the valentine's day sign is still up i never took it down and my little journal section that i read in the mornings with my coffee but isn't that the cutest guy ever i love that posable felt leprechaun from the dollar tree i picked him up when i went with my friend kathy and gretchen to the Dollar Tree and we posted some pics on my community page. If you haven't ever checked out my community page, it did finally come and I've been posting interesting videos of other YouTubers that I find to be um, new or I, that I like the videos of and I've been sharing a lot of stuff on my community page that I, well, just one time so far, but it was very exciting because I bought a lot of it. I'm gonna do some seasonal stuff first and I can't even believe that I'm still buying seasonal stuff, but I am. I can't help it. I just, I have gotten rid of a lot of it. And I've given a lot of it away to the shelter. So I don't have nearly as much as I started out with, but there have been way too many sign choices this year. Um, I did pick up these three baskets. And honestly, I picked these up a long time ago. My holes are so mixed up. As I'm seeing them, I'm realizing it. These do not look like a dollar bucket at all they're really really cool this one honestly would be fun in the summer if you turned it into a citronella candle uh with citronella oil outside and this is just so gorgeous this one is really really beautiful to just put your utensils in on your table even for the holiday season or floral making little baskets for um you know friends, family, even putting cookies in here or chocolate, whatever. They're so, so nice. I really cannot believe these are a dollar. Just their handle is nicer. Everything about them is so much nicer than the usual metal pails that the Dollar Tree have. Not that I'm downing those either. Those have a really good special place in my heart as well. But these are just, this is something that I feel like would be at Target for like $3. So every penny counts, you guys especially you know for me who has to give a lot of stuff away a dollar versus three dollars adds up to hundreds of dollars and so that's why i'm obsessed with and love the dollar tree and i i do i didn't really show you guys this print this print is really really adorable too very very cute i like the idea of i just, i feel like i like the idea of putting my utensils in them I did pick up these guys and they both say bunny please stop here and they have googly eyes and um, definitely bringing these to the shelter I feel like these are super kid friendly they do have like this faux it's not um it seems like they have added fabric on them but they don't they just have like a faux burlap effect but this is so cute for kids and they can like stick it in the grass because I think they're going to be doing their giveaway outside and it would be cute to like stick this in the grass at least that's how I would do it if I was setting up the event and then I did get a few cases of these and I have to say that I love them love 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 them I got these and I'm hoping that maybe some boys will also maybe young boys will like these headbands they're so fun and they have these fuzzy rabbits so cute and they come in blue and they do come in pink as well. I don't know why, I don't know why I'm putting them on my head. I'm not showing them to you. I have a compulsion <laughs> to just use things. They are so cute. Aren't they so cute, you guys? Like what little kid is not gonna want that? So I got, I think I got 50 all together of these. But the crazy thing is that I'd been looking for these, right? And I had seen like one or two scattered here and there. And I was like, I need a lot of them. I'm not going to buy like one or two here and one or two there. I'll find something else. And then I went to the Dollar Tree in Massapequa. Um, Massapequa next to the Wild by Nature, if anybody here. And 
someone had called them. Like, I feel like the universe made a phone call for me. If that seems crazier than crazy, I really left there having this like larger than myself feeling. If you guys can identify with that. I was like walking around and I, I did get, oh, I got a crate, I, not a crate. I got a huge case of those beautiful like multiracial rag dolls that the Dollar Tree has right now. Um, they're not here. I don't know why, but they're probably somewhere in the abyss of my trunks because both of my cars are packed, like packed. I'm going to get rid of a lot of things to the, to one of the shelters I'm dropping off to and we'll be able to do it again. But yeah, and I, I have a lot of things to get out of my cars, which is why I need to do at least two hauls. So maybe story short, I'm getting back to the point here. I, I've been looking for these and when I went to that Dollar Tree, I didn't see any. So I was like, ah, I guess they don't have them. And I did pick up other ones I'm going to show you. And then um, when I went to the register, I'm not even kidding. I'm paying at the register and I had two of those Broadway, pa the contour palettes that I had to exchange. Because if you guys remember, I like, I'm not into those contour palettes. They have a chemical smell and I had never, op I had bought like four of them for me and I had never opened those. So I was like, I'm going to exchange these. I'm never going to use these. And I'm going to ask them it. I found my receipt and I was like, sorry, you know, I bought them and they have like an odor, blah, 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 blah. And then as I'm talking, then while I'm talking to the manager right at the very last register over there, I see two bucket green baskets filled with these little guys sticking out. You know, here's the green basket and they're just poking out with their little bunny selves. And I was like, are those new? What are those doing there? And he was like, are you the one who called about them? And I was like, no, I I can't lie. I wish I had, but oh, someone's coming to get them. He's like, well, they called like six days ago. They asked me to pull them aside and they said that they were on their way and it's been six days. I was like, and they've just been sitting there for six days in Dollar Tree? Six days? I was like, that doesn't happen. And he was like, yeah, I was supposed to put them back, but I just had a feeling that somebody might want them. I was like, you're kidding me right now, right? And I was like, I was like looking around again. I was like, is this candid camera? <laughs> and I was like, so you're saying those are up for grabs? And he was like, yeah, do you want them? He's like, I know, I know you have a charity, right? I was like, yeah, I... I do want those. And he was like, you really aren't the one who called? I was like, why would I do that to you? I was like, if I say I'm on the way, I'm on the way. And and he was like, he's like, you know, the funny thing is when they called and asked me to put them up, I thought it was you that was calling. And I was like, no, it wasn't me. I was like, I wonder who called. I was like, that's so crazy. I was like, well, I feel bad. Are you sure they're not going to come? He's like, it's been sitting here six days. She said she was on the way. I was like, I hope nothing happened to her. That's so crazy. I was like, but I feel like I telepathically told you to save those for me. And he's really cool. The guy that, that I, he seems to be the manager that's always there when I go there. He's, he, he's very nice and really cool. I don't know his name though. And, um, he probably told me, but I don't remember. And, uh, and, and he was like, maybe I did. And I was like, oh, cool. Cause you know, you can't tell people like normal people <laughs> that you telepathically told them to save you something at the Dollar Tree and they not think you're crazy, but he didn't think I was crazy at all. He was like, maybe you did. And I was like, maybe I did. So I got two full green buckets, which is around 50 of these. Um, and I was so happy because these are good. I have multiple drop-offs coming up this week and these are going to go fast. Kids are going to grab these up. And for what it's worth, it's never even occurred to me to call the store and ask them if they have something and tell them to put it up for me. It's never even occurred to me to do that. Usually, I mean, I do have some Dollar Trees where the people that um, work in the store sometimes call me to be like, hey, you know, we got our truck in or hey, we have two trucks coming in this week. You're going to definitely want to come in on such and such day. But I've never like even thought about bothering the people that work in the Dollar Tree and telling them, can you go find this for me? And can you put it up for me? I, I don't even think now that I know that they would do that, I would do it because they work really hard and I wouldn't want to drive them crazy trying to find like one item. Dollar Tree gets so many things that to ask someone to do something like that is kind of amazing, but it's amazing that the guy even did it anyway. And it ended up in my trunk. And then the other ones that I picked up are these, and I'm in love with these. I'm definitely keeping one of each for myself because like who doesn't need these in their life? 
I need these in their life. I certainly do. I'm in love, love with these. And they do, because I love magic sequins. And these are silver and pink and pink and um, teal, which is like gorgeous. Love this. I might just need to, I should put the pink one on because it matches my outfit today. But I just gravitate to this color. I can't help it. It's so my color. It's like I immediately love, well, I'm going to wear this one in the video from now on for the rest of the day. These are mine. I did get about 30 of these, but I'm keeping one of each of these. Now, you, you guys, there are so many eggs at the Dollar Tree. I did in my walkthrough at some point show like a huge wall of eggs. And I wasn't going to take pictures of each and every style of eggs. We all get it. There's tons and tons of eggs that you can fill for Easter egg hunts at the Dollar Tree. But I do feel like some get honorable mention. And I'm going to share with you my favorite ones. There are some that look like animals and sharks and army print and car print. Oh, God, you name it, they have it. But these are amazing. And I feel like they get honorable mention because they need to be purchased or can be purchased. And you can put jewelry in these. You can put um, little eyeshadows in here as gifts. You can use these for things other than Easter. They're really, really beautiful. They even have a little hole in the bottom right there that you can add them to a wreath, a summer wreath, a shell wreath, like a flower arrangement. They are very, very like fun, kind of like super, very like plastic, happy, beachy. And so I don't know, but I see these in my future. I don't know what I'm doing with the, if you have a little girl and she's having like a My Little Mermaid party, you need these in your life. These need to be filled with candy and put in goodie bags. You can put little chapsticks in here. Um, yeah, I think, no, but you could definitely fit like something this size, like a little bottle of kids nail polish. Yeah, things fit in here. So this is just adorable for a kid's party. A grab bag or or a pinata I don't know so many things you could do with these definitely if you're doing a sweet 16 you could put party favors in here confetti oh yeah if you're having a wedding and it's a beach wedding you could put like the stuff that people throw at you in here and then they you could do so many things confetti but um I literally love them and you could tie like a little thing on it through the hole that says like throw at bride and groom or whatever. There's just so many things you could do with these. They're so unique and not, they're not Eastery at all. But I'm done with the headband for now. Easter egg hunt is plastic egg shaped containers, obviously. And you can do that, but you don't have to do that. But these containers can be other things because they really are really awesome party favors for other events is where I'm getting at. And these are just amazing. I absolutely love these. I think they're absolutely marvelous. You could do so many cute things with these. You could just even buy these and make like, like a decor piece on a kid's shelf. I love the fact that it's a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, blue, green, purple. This is a rainbow of little cars. You can make like a little garland, put it on a shelf in a kid's room. I just think they're beautiful. This is beautiful. This is great for parties. You can put little um, candies or those little things of bubbles that come for parties and put this in a goodie bag at a kid's birthday party. Like a, yeah, like a, let's say one or two year old birthday party. You can put these on the table for deck. Just so many things you could do with these other than Easter egg hunts. So I'm definitely going to save these maybe for like baby showers or things like that for favors. I am filling a lot of Easter eggs with candy. That I'm doing, but I'm definitely going to save some of these for party favors. I got three extra of these and three extra of these basically to put aside for baby showers or birthday party events that I might help other people throw because I just feel like there's a lot of possibilities with those.
another type of egg that I feel needs to get my constant honorable mention. They do come in ombre effect also, which are pretty amazing and tie dye ones. But my favorite, absolute favorite Dollar Tree eggs are these glitter ones. And I'm going to be making a tree out of the um, orange. Did I show you guys that yet? So I'm going to be using these gorgeous glitter eggs and moss from the Dollar Tree with this safety cone that I'm not sure if I shared with you guys yet, but it's a dollar in the tool bench section. And you can always put moss down here or use those moss sheets. And you just fill it in with the eggs and moss and you do it all around. And I'm debating, and I know this might be going too far. I am debating committing bunny head bandicide and adding these bunny ears to my tree. I'm debating it. I don't know. I don't I don't know because I kind of feel like when I get the eggs in here and the moss, it's going to look so classy. It's going to look like glitzy, classy that if I stick the ears in it, it'll be like tacky bunny. But it's a possibility. It's a possibility. But this is amazing to DIY with. I am totally for this. Yes. Oh, yes. So for $1 also, if people park in your driveway, like, oh, that was the cat. Did you guys see her? She just jumped over the fence, like, and that's a tall fence. Um, so I live by the beach. During the summer, people just park in your driveway. So you can always stick this um, in your driveway so that people don't park in it. So that is useful. I don't know if I shared this. I sometimes forget. Like things like that that don't make it into bags sometimes also don't make it into holes. So, okay. So these I absolutely love. These are my number one favorite, favorite egg that the Dollar Tree makes. I have bought a ton of these, ton, ton, ton. Plus you get a gold one. And little boys and little girls always get excited. I remember my son, I don't know why, but when he was little, even now, he's like, oh, that's gold. And I'm like, it's not real gold. And he's like, yeah, but it's gold. Because when he was little, if they had an Easter egg hunt and he found the gold one, he would be like, mommy, I found the gold one. And I would be like, yeah, you did. And he, somehow he thought that that was more valuable. He's smart in that area. Not that they have like more value, but he just knew like from Minecraft, I guess gold ore probably who knows like how he knows that but he knew from super itty bitty like it, like when he was teeny tiny these are amazing i don't know if you guys have had a chance to see these but these are really cute for little little ones and i'll show you guys why now you get six in this pack and in the six that you get in here inside of those eggs is like a weeble wobble do you guys remember the weeble wobbles so you get like a now they open like that, which I think is so cool. And then each one has, oh my God, you actually get 12, but these are like weeble wobbles, weeble wobbles wobble, but they don't fall down or they fall if you do that. But you guys know what I mean. You guys know, right? So the kids like little toddlers will love these. They're barnyard animals. You can actually put the candy in here, put this in there. And they get two things. They get a toy and candy. And it's almost like, um, what are they? And more than anything, I love them. They kind of remind me of Matryoshka dolls. Like the Russian nesting dolls, uh, which I love. I'm like obsessed with them. I have kind of like a little collection of them. And I love the idea that one, I wish there was, imagine if there was another one in there and I didn't even know. I didn't know that the thing on the inside opened. I just thought that they were like eggs with weeble wobbles inside of them. But these eggs are also like kind of big, like big. You can fit good stuff in here. But so you get a hippo and you get a cow and you get a frog. I'm going to show you guys everything you get. I think they're amazing for a dollar. This is like literally, if you get one pack for your toddler, they now have like farmyard animals and you could make the sounds. This is like a good toy. It has like a little frog, no eyes, but a frog nonetheless. It's so super cute. 
Oh my God, I'm crazy. Those are its eyes. I hid them with my hand. See the eye? Oh my God, so cute. Yes, so cute. And you could be like Ribbit or Moo with the cow, which is super, super cute. Or I don't know what sounds the hippo makes, but you can make like hippo gestures. Does the hippo make any sounds? Can't close the rest. Okay, so the frog one is... Okay, it closed. It's just me. It wor they work. No one has complaints other than me, though. That's it's just me. I'm very rough with everything. And um, you get the elephant. So cute. And you can make the whatever sound. I don't. The elephant makes the like woo sound. You know, you guys know better than me. I can't think of it now. But um, the monkey. Ooh, 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 you know, whatever. And I could just see kids loving it for a dollar. Like, this is really cute for a toddler. And the pink one is a piggy. And we all know what that sound is. So, I think that for one dollar, these get super duper crazy honorable on my super high mega list of eggs to get from the Dollar Tree. These are on it. Because... This, like, if you just have one child and you just want to hide some eggs for your one kid and they're going to do an Easter egg hunt maybe by themselves or whatever in your backyard and they're, like, a young age, like, up to three years old, for a buck, this is all of the excitement they need. They're going to find the eggs. They're going to open them up. They're going to get the candy out of them. And then they're actually going to play with these eggs because they are animals. And there's, like, one of everything you could think of. I think these are amazing item that I want to share with you guys that I was so excited to find is by Craft City, um, Karina Garcia. This is another type of slime that the Dollar Tree is offering. I did haul in one of my previous hauls some incredible slime. The scented with gems in it. They sell for crazy money outside of the Dollar Tree. And this slime, you get 12 of these little like old film style cases for those of you who are older. Remember, we used to get our film in that kind of size, kind of size case. Or am I, oh no, maybe paint used to come. I don't know. Mm, no, it's, but it's like, it's not huge. It's sort of like the small paint size. It's a good amount of slime for 12, 12 for a dollar. I don't know what this goes for regularly. I think it actually went for like $16. I think I heard someone else say that it went for like $16 and that is crazy for slime. It's 12 little things of slime. But for a dollar, it's even crazy in the other direction. It's just, in these slime, if you don't want to spend crazy money, you get 12 slime for a dollar. That's cheaper than anything at the Dollar Tree other than these designer slime. To fit in, they fit in here. You can fit them in. Definitely the cars. Oh my God, how cute is that? That right there is party favors at a party for a birthday party right there. Yes. Or you could fit them in. You could definitely fit these in different sizes of eggs from the Dollar Tree. They have dinosaur ones that I meant to bring in the car. I bought them, but I don't have them here right now. But the Karina Garcia slime is amazing. This size is really good for fillers if you just take it out of the box. Or you could give it just like this in an Easter basket. Or buy it and give it as a birthday gift if your kids are going to a birthday party. But whatever you do with this, don't not definitely get it if you see it. It's really great with add-ins. What? There's add-ins? What's in here? This kit includes 12 pre-made slimes, white styrofoam beads, rainbow styrofoam beads, iridescent glitter, okay, glitter star glitter, gems, and sugar cookie scent. <gasps> what? That's all in here. I have to open it, you guys. <gasps> yes. Oh, my goodness. How cute. Well, if you do decide to disperse this amongst all the kids so that they can all share, the sugar cookie scent which smells amazing, can go right into your candle stash and put it in your oil burner. And the gems and stuff, you could just add 
to some of the baskets or some of the goodie bags or keep them for your own stash and use them for your other DIYs because the slime in and of itself is awesome. It's really amazing that you could get something like that at the Dollar Tree for $1. It just amazes me. I actually did get a dozen of these and I'm excited. I'm, I wish I had gotten 50 of these. Every kid would get one, but I got a dozen and they're going to, I did get someone, I, I did get so many of the other, um, slime altogether. I've gotten quite a lot of slime that I think the kids don't have to break them up. They could each get one of their choosing. So I'm really excited. I do. I have been to a lot of Dollar Trees at this point and I have found them in multiple places and I have probably, I have probably found like a couple hundred of different types of slime. So, but I, I, I mean, I went to like maybe 20 different Dollar Trees, but yeah, so I'm excited these with you guys in my last walkthrough but I have actually at this point bought a couple of cases of them and these are from the first case I think there were different I know I think there's only two styles of these I have bought two cases of these at this point and these are amazing for girls or boys they're lightweight um, foam glider airplanes so cute really easy to assemble like you just literally put the styrofoam wings through the hole that's in the body and through the back and there's stickers like you could see the stickers kind of through you guys see the stickers of the like face of the plane right through the plastic you could see it and then you just stick it on the plane and you have a fun thing to do in the spring it's safe to be outdoors it's safe to wear a mask and go outside and play with your friends um for the most part, for the kids in the shelters, they do play outside together. So I think that these are going to be great. I would like to get kites again. I always find kites and give out kites. Those are really fun. I'm buying a lot of these outdoor toys more than ever because kids are playing outside more um, in school. At lunchtime, they're taking them outside more because it's safer to be outdoors because of COVID. And I just think that these are awesome. So at this point, I think I have about 60 of these. And those bring priceless joy. They're not super high end or anything like that. But I think playing with an airplane is classic fun, in my opinion. And then for boys, I feel like I scored mega, mega, mega super well. I did find these gorgeous bears. They are Nets and Knicks. So the Knicks are the... New York Knicks. Oh, and this is the Nets is the team that moved to Barkley Center in Brooklyn. And these play at Madison Square Garden, right? So they're basketball bears. NBA, they have the logo and the hologram. They have the, you know, they have the, um, the official NBA store hologram. They're legit. They're really nice quality and boys are going to love these. And I don't always find stuff for boys. So I was so happy when I found these. I have, I did get two cases of these. So that's like 24 plus. I've picked up loose ones here and there. So I have around 30 maybe at this point. And I also found the NBA pillows. And these are great. Kids can actually use these as a pillow. Um, that are fans of the Nets for a dollar. They're legitimate also from the um, NBA. They're licensed materials. I think they're amazing. And like I said, I did also get the rag dolls. You'll see those in another video. But that's really nice. Even nicer than Easter bunnies. Little boys can like love these. I could see little boys literally loving these forever and ever. I could totally see that. They're really nice quality. I'm so happy that I found these. In the spirit of being outdoors and exercise and stuff like that, I did pick up a whole two cases of these um, outdoor kids play type foam. They're foam harmless. And the football ones are amazing because even though they're not real footballs or have the weight of footballs, even adults like to clown around with these foamy footballs like they're really playing football. But then they do have these foam soccer balls and foam basketballs. Obviously, they're not the right size or weight. 
They're not real, but they're definitely fun for clowning around, even playing toss, whatever. Whatever kids like this kind of stuff. And I kept a few um, here at home because I'm going to do a topiary DIY with these plus like a bigger ball. So if you have these things laying around your house, you might want to do the DIY with me. I'll be doing that probably this week. It'll be like an Easter topiary. A spring to show you guys in my walkthrough how the Dollar Tree had like so many licensed little minifigures that are like cake toppers. Um, these are also Greenbrier. They're all made by Greenbrier, you guys. Oh, there's the cat again. Do you guys see her? She's on the very top of the fence. We're high up here, actually, where I'm sitting. There she is. Up. Oh, goodbye, meow, meow. Okay, so... She's just on the hunt. God only knows what she's hunting, but she's on the hunt. I could tell you that. So they're, they're officially licensed through Green... The Greenbrier officially licensed them from the company that... Hasbro is the company. Okay, so here's the deal. Hasbro gave Greenbrier the permission to make them. All of the things that I'm seeing in the Dollar Tree lately that are non-posable minifigure like cake toppers they're made by Greenbrier so Greenbrier has really just gone completely full-blown into licensing getting the licensing rights to all kinds of different brand name items because these say G.I. Joe right in the front because they bought the right to do that and they're not made by Hasbro it says very clearly Hasbro and its logo logo and G.I. Joe and its logo and all related characters are trademarks of Hasbro and are used with permission. So they're not made by Hasbro. Hasbro is just letting us know that Greenbrier gave them per, got that Greenbrier attained permission to use their logo. And Technically, these are not a brand name item. So I just wanted to put that out there in case you guys were wondering when you buy them why they're not what you think they are. Because I have started to pass on these lately, but because these are boy ones, and because not, not that there's anything wrong with them, but um, I'm really cheap, you guys. That's the bottom line. And a lot of those like Disney minifigures or the Barbie minifigures or any of those items that are licensed items that the Dollar Tree is producing for Dollar Tree with the Greenbrier um, brand name on the back made by Greenbrier. Those items are dollar items. That's the bottom line. I know that that sounds cruel to say and you know they still might spark joy in some children but I'm really looking for the best bang for my buck and I want a posable figure for a dollar and I want a posable figure that's going to stay able to be posable more than once because some of the items that the Dollar Tree makes that the Dollar Tree makes that are posable they're only posable once and then once you pose them your kid comes up to you with the arm off or the leg off or it's snapped I don't like that kind of stuff because I don't want figures be I did get a case of the GI Joe I'm not gonna lie because they are boy toys and it's very hard to get boy stuff at the Dollar Tree and because they are really detailed, but what they're not is posable. And that is kind of a bummer. They look like they're posable. And I have to be honest with you guys, when I bought the case, I thought they were posable. I thought, I straight up was like, wow, they're G.I. Joes. Because I've never seen the Dollar Tree make G.I. Joes before. Have you guys? But then I started to be like, wait a minute. So I did research. I went and I looked at a lot of the other stuff that I have in the um, camper because I got I get crazy figuring out like I had that whole Mighty Dollar haul. A lot of the stuff that is sold in Mighty Dollar is also sold to Dollar General, I have found out. So I'm doing like all this research and not for nothing. I don't have a Mighty Dollar anywhere near me. It's my girlfriend that went shopping there. But um, I went to Dollar General the other night just to get ice cream and what else was I looking for? Oh, egg rolls. I like the egg rolls that they sell at Dollar General that you cook yourself. They're like eight in a pack. I think they're called 
Pag pagoda. Yes, they're delicious. Oh my God, so yummy. $6 for eight egg rolls. They're delicious, really good. So I wanted to get a box of those and I saw the bunnies, the cute little bunnies that I hold in my collective haul. And I was like, what the heck? And then I think the Mighty Dollar might have had an additional style or it could, I, I don't know. I'm just going from what I saw on the shelf. It could have been something entirely different. I wasn't physically there. My girlfriend was showing me, but Regal International, I think sells to Regent, Regent International sells to Dollar General and Mighty Dollar. So I'm kind of intrigued by that whole process. I don't know. I like to get to the root of it. I like to go to the source because if I go to the source, I could get enough for my people. And that's kind of what I'm good at that. That is what I do. I am good at finding ways to get lots of stuff for very little money. A superpower actually. <laughs> so when I realized that these GI Joe were not made by, by the, by Hasbro, I was like, okay, so let me check the other one. So a lot of the other minifigures that we have been hauling are made by Greenbrier, but it wasn't as evident as it is on this one, I guess, because the logo was bigger on the other ones or Disney. Um, I don't know, but the Disney ones, when I went back and looked, I realized they're not really made by Disney. They're made by Greenbrier and they do have like a small thing on the bottom that says Greenbrier, but I just never noticed it before. Anyway, I bought a case of these. The boys are going to like them. I'm just going to tell you guys right now that they're not posable. I thought they were. Um, you get Cobra Commander. He's a bad guy. And um, this is also a bad guy. Red Ninja. And Destro. Another bad guy. I used to love G.I. Joe when I was little. My brother and I used to watch it all the time. And uh, in the good side, you, and it says collect all six, you got Roadblock, G.I. Joe Roadblock. Very cool. And you have Snake Eyes. And we all remember Snake Eyes. And they are really detailed. If these were posable, I would be like, so, be. I would just love these. And Duke. And I know it's a lot to ask for, but I feel like Dollar Tree could have made them posable, but they didn't. And I'm kind of a items that are in the Dollar Tree are made by the Dollar Tree, but made to look like they're a brand name. I'm seeing more and more new brands that are just a brand name, a sub company of Dollar Tree, just a, just a label of Dollar Tree that they're creating. So there are changes in the Dollar Tree. That is for sure. I'm seeing it more and more. But these are true actual brand name items, these Hot Wheels. I got a ton of these. I really got lucky. There was a ton of just this one in um, the store that I went to. And I think that this is great for little girls or little boys. And it's fun. It's a toaster car. I mean, like, it's just crazy looking. Special feature, see back panel. I don't know what that is. Food on the go, never tasted so good. Build your Hot Wheels collection by visiting Roller Toaster food, Fast Foodie. Um, maybe you can order them. I don't know. Oh, what? That is so cute. The special feature is that that lever, you push it down and the toast goes in, which, I mean, you guys get it. The toast goes down and then as the car drives, it pops up. Okay, so that's adorable. I, I got about eight of these. I mean, when I say a ton, uh, it's amazing to get one of something, but they had a lot of them. So I picked up eight of this exact one and the kids that get it, I'm sure are gonna love it. Uh, it's so it's so cute, very cute. It's purple. I forgot to share with you guys. And I, I, I have had these for so long at this point, it's a disgrace. I mean, I just wanna decorate with them already. I forgot to share these with you guys. Amazing. I am in love with these. This one is slightly damaged, but it's okay. I didn't care. I got two of each. The Fresh Carrot um, cutting board. Now, these are really good quality. They are better quality than, a, I mean, not like Hobby Lobby quality. Let's put it that way. But for a Dollar Tree sign, these are much better quality than I've seen in a while or ever, actually. They're like heavier fake cardboard paper sign stuff. 
I don't know, but I, fi I feel like they're just much, much better quality. And Cotton Co. Egg Farm, Egg Hunt Daily, One Mile Ahead, Egg Hunts Daily. Gorgeous. I'm putting some command hooks on my kitchen cabinets and I'm hanging them on either cabinet that I face this way while we're eating dinner. And I'm just going to love looking at them. I, carrots locally grown, 25 cents each, Cottontail Farms, 100% organic. I mean, like, seriously, I don't even know that I want to ever take them down. I love them. Although, I am going to put them up in my kitchen, and then I think I'm going to leave those command hooks up. And since the Dollar Tree is making so many darn signs that are so beautiful, I'm going to make those two cabinets sign cabinets because I need places to hang all these signs that I'm buying. And lately, they just are killing. They're killing it. I can't even deny buying signs because they're so nice. Like the spring ones, I can't choose just one to put on my door, two to put back here. I mean, where they're going to have to be in my kitchen now. They're going everywhere. The red truck, the not the red truck, the teal truck with the, stra the strawberries. Oh, yeah, the strawberry truck. Like, I love that thing. I never want to take it down. I never, ever. It's not... I'm actually in the process. My husband and I are upcycling some things and I'm going to be putting up a video of a DIY of a ladder I, fi I fished out of the trash and I couldn't believe, like who would throw a wood ladder in the garbage? Uh, Not me, that's for sure. So I like picked it out of my neighbor's garbage and my husband actually helped me. He was like, oh, you know what? That's going to be a fun DIY. I was shocked. I was like, who even are you? Because he's not normally a chalk furniture painter upcycler but now that my husband every day anymore he's like found a new passion for this whole chalk painting it's a lot easier you know he does have a bad back and so we are kind of loving taking on these little projects together it's something we could do together and we can flip them we can give them to other people that might need them but whatever we're not buying them we're finding them literally I've done like a few upcycles recently with him that literally we picked out of the garbage or we picked out of our shed and they were just used up furniture that we had put outside in the backyard over the summer and actually it got weathered and we weathered it even more. So it's really fun and um, it's a good outlet for him because he could get stir crazy, not working. And um, yeah, so it's fun and I'll definitely share the ladder thing with you guys because it came out amazing. Um, so these are gorgeous. I'm so glad that I got them. And I've had them for like a month already. I can't even believe I didn't haul them. See, the bags just get all crazy in my trunk. But some people are just now finally finding these. So it's still relevant. Easter hasn't happened yet. And if you do get lucky, a mega, mega wish list item. And although these also are crown jewels, Crown Jewels is a subsidiary of Greenbrier. They are a brand name of Greenbrier. But I have to be honest, anything that Greenbrier makes that's from um, Crown Jewels, I love. Uh, the prayer cards, I think you guys saw like before when my camera, uh, when I moved the leprechaun to show you guys the leprechaun, I have my prayer cards up in my coffee bar and I have um, some journals there. And I use them. I, lo I love them. I think they're wonderful. And in this one, it says, Kind words are like honey. Proverbs 16, 24. It's a tie-dye journal. And that's exactly what it is. This is a legitimate journal. And it says, each day, like, it's not a day. It's um each page. So first of all, you can gift it to someone. You know, if you're giving it to someone, you can dedicate it to them or someone could just put their name in here or whatever maybe an intention that they're working towards put your thought right there of what you plan on journaling or accomplishing or praying on and you know every day wake up and be diligent about you know journaling or whatever working through stuff sometimes and this let's say first page it says grow in grace peter 318 and then there's a few pages and then there's an, another quote it says Perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. Like, I just love, and then some pages are not lined and some pages are lined. So you could do all kinds of stuff. Uh, it does repeat. Um, stop doubting and believe. Grow in grace. Uh, for Perhaps this is the moment. Stop doubting. Okay, so it is repeated. Words are like honey. Kind words are like honey. 
So it does repeat, but it doesn't matter. It's a beautiful book. It's a really beautiful book to put your thoughts into. Even let's say you're having financial problems right now and you have to, I love to use these books to do my bills. And I know most people have like computer programs for things like that, but I like to get a nice book and do my bills in it. Um, let's say you are having a lot of financial problems right now. Do your bills in a book like this. Spend the dollar, get a book that makes you feel good and start writing your money issues and start journaling about it and start putting your bill amounts in here and how much you're taking in and how much you're putting out. And before you know it, that energy of like, putting it into a positive place and believing that there's something, you know, fueling all of it, it changes your reality. I really believe that. So I've always um, like to put things into books or um, notebooks that have like a positive phrase on them that motivates me to get to the next level, whatever that is. And I just think these are gorgeous. I really do. They're really well made. They're really beautiful. Even if you're just using them as like a notebook to take notes in or whatever, I love that they have like the spiritual side to them. And this is the other one. I did get two of each, some for my in-laws and friends and some for myself. Um, the other one says, stop doubting and believe, John 20, 27. And it has the feathers. It's so gorgeous as well. Also ground jewels. It has the same front with the, you know, the page that you can inscribe or for yourself. And then inside, it does have the same things. Kind words are like, honey, grow in grace. Um, perhaps this is the moment for which you were created. So the insides are identical. It's just the outsides that are different. I think they're gorgeous, gorgeous books. And keeping the tie-dye one. You guys know that. This one is really gorgeous. Things that I have in this whole all match. Because um, I did buy these also for something I'm kind of thinking about making. And I do have these cool books. And then this. I saw Thrifty Tiffany Hall. This book, Be a Blessing, A Journal for Cultivating Kindness, Joy, and Inspiration by Debbie Makehomer. And honestly, I never in a million years thought I was going to find it. Because I just didn't. But I found it. And I was like, at first, I actually, when I saw it on the shelf, I just saw like that part sticking out from under some other things and I thought that it was this because I hadn't seen it in real life and I was like oh, they put the journals over there so I grabbed it up and this was not in the book section by the way these were up by the registers in like those little fun find things you never know where you're going to find the crown jewel stuff they don't have a section for that that kind of just ends up in wherever man's land in the Dollar Tree, or at least my Dollar Tree. My Dollar Trees, I love them, but you have to be able to be like, a, like you have to like have in the 80s been willing to go bin diving <laughs> to like shop in some of my Dollar Trees because they're not organized. Like if you're one of those people where I live now, I sometimes watch Jennifer Moen and I laugh like out loud. I'm like, Jennifer, if you had a shop in my Dollar Trees, you would have an aneurysm because she'll be like in her Dollar Tree and be like, oh, this place is a mess today. And, and I'm like, wow, I understand that she's used to everything. Her Dollar Trees are like going to a department store. I've never, I have never been in a Dollar Tree like that so far in my life. And I hope to someday visit the Dollar Tree that Jennifer Moen shops in because it's enormous so organized. I've never seen so much stock on the shelves in any, like I've never seen that much stock on the shelves in my life in the Dollar Trees. In Jersey, actually, no, nowhere near like Jennifer Moen's, but like the Dollar Trees in Jersey, they are clean. I gotta say, they're very huge. They're organized. They have more stock in the store than they have in New York. That's for sure. But the, the walkthroughs that Jennifer Moen does, mm-mm. I, I can't, when I, tr I couldn't even do walkthroughs. I have to take pictures because it's a mess. I have to take the thing and put it somewhere where it's not a mess to take a picture of it half the time. Cause I'm like finding things under things in my Dollar Tree, just craziness. But I get it. The people work hard. The stores are really busy. People are broke. They're probably there more than ever. It's on, maybe, I don't know. I actually think that they're busier than ever, the Dollar Trees. So 
it is what it is. I'm glad and happy to go to them, but it's definitely not like how Jennifer Moen is like, this place is a mess. I wish my Dollar Tree was the mess that hers is because mine really is a mess. So um, I was like, oh, it's the journal. It wasn't the journal, but then I picked it up and I, I when I picked it up, I was like, is this the book that I saw Thrifty Tiffany Hall? I was like, that's a journal. So as soon as I opened it, I was like, oh, this is that journal. It is. It is absolutely a beautiful journal. It is so, oh my God. I, I don't know what this says, but I love it. So this is the page that we're going to focus on because this is everything I love. A wreath, colorful wreath like this. I love that. I don't know why. Um, the one thing you have that nobody else has is you. Your voice, your mind, your story, your vision. So write and draw and build and play and dance and live as only you can. Neil Gaiman. So like, you know what? Who doesn't want a journal like that? Who does not want a journal like that? And then, you know, the pages of this book are just so gorgeous. It says, journaling helps me deal with all life throws at me, both joys and sorrows, to write my innermost thoughts with pen and paper, uh, yes, the old-fashioned way, is a priority. Whether it be the highlight of my day, things that make me thankful, or prayers I lift to God. To name only a few, I've journaled my entire life and have reaped the rewards from this daily discipline. My hope is that by using this journal, you will also see the benefits of putting a pen to paper and taking a thoughtful look at your life as you may never have done before. I just love the idea of that. Um, it goes on pages in her journal. It says, let's get started by looking at your garden. What does the plot or piece of soil that is in front of you look like right now? Where are you in life at this moment in time as you start this journaling process with me? Okay, so maybe she means actual dirt or maybe she means like the nitty gritty of your life. Where are you at? What does your soil look like? Whatever your whatever comes to mind is what you journal about. But, um, and then there's this black and white like adult coloring book type page, and it says, "What are your favorite quote quotes that inspire you? What are your of all times is be the change you wish to see in the world." That is my, I almost cry every time I say it. So, what's your favorite quote? You guys can all put it in the comments down below. I love this book. I love this book. I could see myself crying every single day. <laughs> when I, I just love things like this. They really fill my heart with so much emotion that I can't help but cry. But it's not like a sad cry. It's like a good cry. I love, I love to do that. I just, I really enjoy these things. And so I really felt like, so you know what? Debbie Maycomer actually is a blessing. <laughs> she is a blessing because I feel blessed that I found this book. I was so happy to find it. I didn't even think I was going to find it. I like, you know what? I don't even, the word happy isn't the word. I was dumbfounded when I found it because I was like, no way did I find this book. I found this book. I was so happy. I found that I bought a lot of, but I kept two for um, gifts that I'm going to be giving out are these like personal family gifts. I bought a lot for the shelter for teenagers, but I kept the shine set for a girl that I plan to gift it to. I think it's so cute. It's a notebook with 80 sheets. I did show it in my walkthrough and the cute little cosmetic bag pencil case. And I just think that it's just so darling. The colors are just so spring and it's going to be part of like a little Easter spring type gift that I'm giving someone um in the mail to someone and then this one i'm giving to a friend of mine i think this is gorgeous i love it i think it's really high-end looking actually it looks like a like village soho designer boutique sort of creation anthropology urban outfitters you name it i love it i think it's very high-end looking for two dollars you can't beat it Pair it up with some of those cute um, chubby pens that the Dollar Tree has with the caps. They come in a three-pack. Take it out of the three-pack. Put one that matches it with this. 
and now it looks more expensive. When you put the box with the three, it looks way cheaper than when you take one out that matches it perfectly and you pair it up. It looks much more expensive, in my opinion. Unless you know the person you're giving it to and you're like, I got that at the Dollar Tree. And they'll be like, girl, the, I love that place. But if you're giving it as a gift and you don't want it to look like you got it at the Dollar Tree, just take it out of that box, put it on its own, wrap it up in tissue paper and put it in a gift bag. And it looks like you spent good money on it. Something like that in anthropology or any of those cute little Paul Smith. This looks like Paul Smith made it. I don't know if you guys know who Paul Smith is, but it's very Paul Smith inspired. This linear, colorful, and something, just a notebook like this from Paul Smith would be 18, 1850. This would be like $37, $37 this would be at Paul Smith. And that's ridiculous. Why should this be that kind of money? It should be a dollar. It should never be more than $3, not for anything in the world. In my opinion, that's just me. I'm cheap and that's all there is to it. But I definitely for a dollar think that these are a crazy, crazy, crazy good score for young people and old people alike wonderful beautiful people can always use something to put their stuff in and always use something to write their thoughts in i think good gifts then some of this ivy i love it i am going to be doing um a like garden scene in this pan believe it or not this pot pan whatever what is this thing this cookie pan i actually already have one that i've been using which i might actually use the used one and start to keep the not used one to cook in, if that makes any sense, because I'm going to be spray painting it, but I'm going to be making like a garden, a back. This is going to be so cute when I'm done. So I picked up the ivy and it's going to be part of this backyard scene that I'm going to make in this pan that I'm going to hang on my door with my address on it. And I'm really excited about that DIY. So stay tuned for that DIY point my haul has become and I'm just going to start picking up things and sharing them with you I picked up a two pack of these placards um we do use the mechanical um brushes here but I couldn't pass these up maybe if I have my in-laws come over they did get vaccinated and soon hopefully will be vaccinated and if they come over I'll have um you know some extra toothbrushes for people who might be I'm just hoping that people are able to come to my house again and I just figured it would be good to have some extra toothbrushes because these are really nice. Quite a few of these because I have been buying a lot of candles lately since I do have two dogs in my house and I don't like my house to smell. So I've been buying a lot of floor cleaner and candles and wax burners and my house smells good. I must admit, I try to be on top of things, but I have bought a lot of these lately and they're good for so many things. They're good for using for your barbecue, lighting your candles, if you smoke, which you shouldn't, but if you do, they're good for that too. I did buy these. I'm not a big sticker person, but I thought these would be cute to embellish uh, maybe our Easter eggs or the, e I don't know, I, I'm not sure, but I picked these up because I thought it would be cool to decorate some of the Easter DIYs that I do. Also, I thought if I do do a tear tray, it would be cute to maybe put these along the edge of the burner cover, like, cause it's the same size. So I just, I, I like that they're multiple colors, pastel, and you can alternate them. And uh, for a dollar, I picked them up cause I have an idea for these. The men's section find the Star Trek socks, and I was so excited. I first saw these in Mimi Sparkles hauls, and I was like, I need those for Father's Day. I must find them. They do have Spock. They have the logo, the Star Trek logo. I think they're awesome. They are a Greenbrier product. They have, um, and it, I mean, you can, they do have pictures of the, like, old-fashioned 60s um, movie star, on it but this one the logo I don't know I didn't watch the new Star Trek I only watched the vintage one because I loved it it was so like melodramatic crash bang boomy I love that and like the vintage bat Batman yeah I loved that too and the Spock is the original vintage one I think unless isn't that this is like from the newer version of Star Trek I don't know what his name is but I did get them I my husband probably knows my husband is actually not a huge Star Trek fan, but his dad is. So I picked them up for him, actually, for Father's Day. And 
I love that you could get that for $4 at the Dollar Tree. Something like this at um, GameStop, these would be like 10 bucks each, 40 bucks for nothing, for socks. No way in hell am I ever going to pay $40 for socks. Not going to happen. I'm cheap and I could get really cool socks at the Dollar Tree for $4. Perfect Dad's Day gift right here all the way. Item. We did have a bunch of power outages in my house lately over the winter and with the rainstorms and the wind. Honestly, with no storm, just out of nowhere, we had a power outage from a little wind. So um, I got rid of all of my USB things that I had from the Dollar Tree when I got rid of my old phone because it was a USB port. This phone is a C port and I could not find not one USB cable that was working to charge our power banks when the power came on because the PSC and G told us that the power might go off again and I could not find that one and then I was like I'm not getting any of the Dollar Tree ones they don't work so when I found these I was psyched I got these two colors they had them in like every color but I just needed a couple just for my power banks so that I can remember to charge them and if we do run out of power, we could still use our phones and stuff without them running out really quickly. Because we do have a lot of power banks in my house. And they do hold the charge for a long, long time. And this is a good brand name by Duracell. So I'm definitely going to, um, you know, use these immediately. And I was psyched to find them in a brand name. That is a really good deal for a dollar. I was so happy. I didn't think I was going to find these, actually. Because I saw them hold... And I never found them in the store. And then just, I found them out of nowhere in my Dollar Tree. What is it, like two months since people hold them? So you never, ever know when you're going to find things. I feel like my specific Dollar Tree that's closest to my house is really behind everybody in this neighborhood. Like, not my neighborhood, but if I go like 20 minutes away, I'll find things that other people are hauling. But in my specific Dollar Tree, they get them like four months later. So I don't know what that's about, but it's kind of cool because if I can't ever get it at the other stores, I always am like, you never know, it still might end up in your Dollar Tree. And that does happen a lot because I'm organizing in the tiny closet that's under my son's um, little tiny house stairs to the attic loft. And I feel like I could definitely use a little extra space in there and hang our winter coats in there for the summertime. So I just picked up one of them. They do seem like they're kind of durable. The truth is I've tried these before. This isn't like an innovation in storage. I don't like them because I'm too much of a slob to like. I, the thing is, in order for this to work, you put it on the thing, right? You hang the five hangers and then you drop it. But then when you want to get something off of it, you need to have the space still available on this bar to do this. I have a very little house. Once I do this, that bar fills up with other stuff. So it kind of might not work for me, but for when I'm not going to touch it over the summer, once I start taking things in and out of it, I know I won't use it. But just for storing, like for long-term storage, it makes sense. If that makes any sense to anybody else, let me know. But you have to be able to put it back on the bar to take the things off in a nice way. Otherwise, you're going to end up breaking it. But for now, for a dollar, it's good for the summer so that I can put my house on the market and sell it because that's probably what I'm going to do. I absolutely love this. I think it's amazing. I'm putting it in my bathroom probably today. I've been wanting to haul it for the longest time. Actually, I wanted to buy this one five and below had it. Um, I don't think it's the exact same one. You know, I think this is even real wood. Is this real wood? <laughs> you know what's really funny? I don't know if you guys could see that. It says decorative items not included. Like, where would anybody think that they're included? So you're looking, you go up to the shelf and you're like, oh, wow, look at that wall shelf. And you can clearly see that it's this piece of wood with some rope connected to it. And that little um, ring that you hang it onto a hook with on your wall. Clearly, it suspends. It, you can't hang a lot of weight on it. It won't, it'll come right out of the wall. Unless you drill and you put a molly and all of that stuff. And that's for my husband to deal with. But like, who's going to think that the decorative items are included? Like, where would they be? Narnia? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Who needs that disclaimer? That's, that's awesome. That's the kind of stuff that I love. <laughs> like, okay. 
I guess I guess I don't get a clock and a plant with this. Where is it? I open it up and I think it's going to pop out. Like, that's just crazy Dollar Tree. But anyway, I love this thing. I was going to get it at Five and Below. I think the one from Five and Below was just a little bit shorter, actually, which I'm cool with this for a dollar. This is a great buy for a dollar. I mean, even though it's only $5 at Five and Below, Still, this is just a dollar. So I did pick up two of them because you never know where else I might want to put it. You can paint this with chalk paint, distress it, make it like beachy blue or a bright color for a kid's room. You could do a lot of things because the holes are already pre-drilled. You could do a lot of things. You can, um, oh yeah, you can actually untie the top knot or the bottom knot and put two shelves in it by making another knot and make this like a two-tier shelf and then hang it. I'm going to do that, actually, because that, that'll be really good. That's really easy to do. I can't believe I didn't think of that in the store. Well, if I had thought of it, I would have bought that for other people. I didn't. It's better that I don't buy everything. <laughs> so these, now, I will say that they're alcohol-free. They're cleansing body wipes that's number one they're not face wipes but you can use them on your face your face is part of your body and these they're i don't think that they're they can, they are not antibacterial in any way they're not for you know these are not hand sanitizer they are cleansing alcohol free hand therapy mist but what's great about these and i'll show you all the smells i did show these in my walkthrough and what's great about these is that they're alcohol-free cleansing body wipes in raspberry and fresh mint, citrus lime and tea tree oil, um, sweet orange and jojoba, and lavender and coconut oil. But what's really, really, really amazing about these is that you get, okay, so let's say we're going to choose the raspberry and the raspberry um, cleansing alcohol-free um, hand therapy mist and you put it in a Ziploc bag and you put a pair of maybe diabetic socks. I like to buy the diabetic socks because a lot of people that are street homeless have like edema or like stuff going on with their skin. So you put a pair of the diabetic socks in the bag and a, a bag of chips and a bottle of water or a Slim Jim and you give this to them. This is like, they can wash themselves with this and they get a snack. These for a couple, like for $5, and usually I like to keep a couple bucks in there too, but this is really good for street homeless. If you see street homeless people and you have those like, you know, blessing bags in your car, put these in your blessing bags. This is definitely a blessing bag kind of item. This is really good for street homeless. I think a really nice thing to give someone that will use it. They will, and honestly, I would add, just so that they know the difference or check, I would add one of these. Me personally, I'm in New York. Other states might not want to do that. That's not my business. I would also add a face mask to it at this time in the world. But in a normal world, I wouldn't. But the hand sanitizer is good for that. And I do always put that. And a face mask, a couple bucks, a pair of socks. A pair of clean socks is imperative. And a snack of some kind and a bottle of water. That's a really nice um, blessing bag to give someone, I think. Emergency homeless bag. So I did get quite a few of these. I think they're awesome for that. And let's see how they smell. I don't know. I will open. Ooh, and they're sealed like ultra, ultra sealed. I like that too. So the um, citrus lime, let's take a whiff. And in true Bolero form, it smells amazing. The um, lavender coconut oil. Citrus is going to be, I think, my favorite. I love citrus lime. Wow. Lavender coconut smells amazing. Amazing. They always, Bolero gets you with the smell of things. But this isn't promising to do anything but clean your hands or your body. So that's why I feel like this is a good deal. The um, sweet orange and jojoba smells like orange tang. That's like wonderful. Like that, I mean, if you don't have anything and you're not clean and 
somebody hands you that and a couple of bucks and some a snack, you're going to really appreciate this. Oh my God, the raspberry. I want, I love mint. The raspberry mint and actually the coconut lavender are my favorites this time around. And I usually always go for the citrus, but these are delightful. Anyone's going to like this. Anyone is going to really, I love them for what I bought them for. I think that they're going to be really nice gifts for people in emergency situations. And I'm looking forward to giving those out. I did pick up from the um, fairy garden stuff, this little welcome tree. And I picked up two of these because I kind of was thinking of making them into a tear tray like this. I thought about it. I don't know yet if I want to get, I really want to get the big teapot looking one, but I love the idea of making this into like a tear kind of thing like that. And then having things climbing in and around. And I just like the idea it can be done because I could just put a little piece of clay on top of here and then E6000 it. So it'll balance. I know I could do it. Um, I just, I'm not sure, but I like the idea of it. And I think it would be a cute little area in my Easter stuff. So that I didn't buy it for fairy garden. I bought it for our Easter, like my Easter mantle kind of display. And then I did get these little Nomi guys for Christmas because they say Christmas to me. They're already painted Christmas colors and they're going to be in my Christmas decorations or inside of like a Christmas, like what are those things called? Cloach or something for Christmas. I'll put it away. And then this is definitely going in my Easter stuff. The rabbit section with the bunnies and the welcome sign is so cute. So I could totally see this on my mantle with the rest of my Eastery stuff because I'm obsessed with carrots. It's just so cute. I love that. So that I bought for me. Um, a strip and a half of these Junior Yum Yum Lip Gloss. Now, they're not mood changing or anything like that. The other ones I got were mood changing. These are um, lip gloss, grape ice cream flavor. So this one is grape ice cream lip gloss, not chapstick or lip balm, lip gloss. So it's glossy. So it's better for like maybe teenagers. And then this one is chocolate ice cream flavor. They're just so cute. Their packaging is so cute. And this is a brand name. It's not made by Greenbrier. It's made by the company Yo-Yo World. And um, this one is strawberry ice cream flavor. So I was so happy to get a bunch of those, a strip and a half, because kids are going to love these. And then I got a lot of these, a lot. They have so many of them in the stores now on the strip clips on displays they just seem to have them everywhere lately that i go in abundance and i did get a whole lot of these they they're little teeny nail polishes for little girls and these are so cute um they come in purple hot pink and yellow and i don't know um what the deal is with them if there's something special about them it says to use nail polish under adult supervision apply to clean nails for external use avoid eye contact I remember when I was little, they used to have nail polish for little girls that you could just peel right off. But I guess, um, I don't know if, I don't think that this is that. I thought it was actually, but it's not. Oh, and it does have glitter in it. So you guys know it's glitter, purple, pink, and yellow. Like who does not want to give that to a little girl? And the packaging has bunnies on it. I mean, just, it's so cute. Little girls are going to love to get that. So yeah, I bought a ton of these. You guys, this, because I did, I anytime I see these, I pick at least one up. Um, I have other hand sanitizers. I give out the bigger ones now because I could get them, but I love to get these. I always have one of these on me at all times because I can hang it from my bag or my car or whatever. I don't lose it, and I absolutely love this one right here, and I refill them or I throw them away. I just saw my friend Gretchen from Gretchen's One DIY at a Time haul her cotton swabs, and I was like, oh, Gretchen, we ran out of q-tips at the same time that's so random and weird but you get 300 for a dollar you can't beat that and they're not bad they they're no q-tip i'm not gonna lie they're cotton swabs and the q-tips have a lot more happy fluffiness to them but for a dollar i'm all in with that i'm good with that it's great they're great to like get your you know fix this nonsense that happens when you're doing your eyeshadow which 
I've started doing eyeshadow in my 40s. I never used colors in my life, but I've been watching all these tutorials on how to make yourself not look as old, and I'm giving it a shot. I'm even going to... And they don't always have these at the Dollar Tree. So when I do see them, I do like to pick them up. They're just the classic real wax taper candles. They burn pretty clean, and I really like them. They're unscented for a dollar. Great deal. I'm doing a DIY with them as well. I do have some, but I needed some more, and I got lucky enough to find more of these. It seems like everybody wants lemon in these hauled by a ton of people, but I'm going to share them with you guys. I did get quite a few of them to give to people as gifts. Um, the queen bee is really cute. I think it's a very cute idea bubble. People are thinking about saving the environment. So they're thinking about bees. I like it. Um, this is also a thought bubble. People are thinking of their bits and baubles. Cute as well. It's just like a trinket tray, but it's bigger than most of the ones from Dollar Tree. And then this is a quote, not a thought, but a quote. And it is, you have a beautiful soul. Very cute. And this specific one, I did get a few of each of them, actually. I broke because I break everything. But it says you're awesome. And I'm I'm personally awesome at breaking things. That is my other superpower. So I did manage to already break this. But it was awesome before I broke it. And it's, you know, now awesomely broken. Um, I did find these. I'm going to be adding this item right here to my giveaway. So if you don't know, I do have a 1,000 subscriber giveaway going on right now. And in my last video upload, I showed what's currently in my giveaway and I will be adding stuff to the giveaway as days go on. The giveaway has been going on for a while and I am adding this to the giveaway and I will also um, tell you that in order to find out what the phrase is so that you can continue to enter the giveaway, you need to go watch that video. I'm not gonna tell you guys in this video what the phrase is, but people have been entering the giveaway in previous videos because it's been going on for over a week. So if you go watch my videos backwards, you'll get the phrase, you'll find out where to enter, how many videos to go back, and you'll be able to get multiple entries into this humongous giveaway. I am doing a huge giveaway and every time I do a haul, I do add more stuff to it. So you never know what you'll end up with. Um, this is activated charcoal, pore cleaning facial mask. It looks great. I haven't tried it yet. I bought one for me and one for you guys, which I feel like I'm always going to end up doing from now on with masks. So that's going in the giveaway. And this is not from the Dollar Tree, but I will be adding it into my giveaway because I feel like everybody needs one of these. This is like my favorite contour brush ever in the ever made. It's a very high-end actual brush. I think it's like $35. Um, I do have quite a few of them because I, I, I scored them a while at a liquidator by Savvy Minerals. Um, it's by the brand Savvy Minerals Contour Brush by Living uh, Young Living. And I'm including this in the giveaway because I haven't put a lot of makeup or I plan to put more makeup in there, but I have put a lot of different makeup and I think that everyone needs a really good contour brush. These are sealed, brand new, really amazing. I don't want to open it. Um, I cannot open it. So I'm not going to open it, but you'll have to take my word for it. It's a really amazing contour brush. That is also going in my giveaway. So go check out the, the upload of what's in the giveaway to find out how to enter the giveaway in this video. And for those of you who already know, shh, do not pass it on. They must go and find out in order to enter here. Um, skin primer, I'm wearing it today. I love this stuff. My skin is very sensitive. I don't like to use all kinds of different things. Honestly, I never used primer in my life. I did not realize that I needed it, but I now know that I do need it. And I do actually love, by Hard Candy, a different primer that I found a sample of at Walmart in my Walmart haul, in my collective haul. You could go check that out. It's like it blurs your wrinkles. It actually is amazing. I can't even believe that I got it for a dollar, but it's like a little sample. And I'm going to get a big one, but I did get a few of these to... um share with the shelter population and I'm going to put one of these in my giveaway as well 
because I think it's remarkable. Let me just make sure that this is the one I have not opened. Yeah, this is not opened. I'm going to add this to my giveaway as well because not everyone has been fortunate enough to find this Hard Candy Sheer Envy Sensitive Skin Primer, non-comedogenic, oil-free, silicone-free, which is important because silicone is very irritating to some skin. Sensitive Skin Primer um, Base, it is wonderful. 1.6 ounce. I really, really, really like this item. So I'm also adding that to my giveaway. And then today I'm currently wearing this Photo Focus can you guys believe that ever since I said it, I have done nothing but fine foundation and cover up for my skin? I can't believe it either. This was hauled by Thrifty Tiffany like months ago. I found it, honestly, I found it like two weeks ago. I have worn it the last two videos and it is shell bisque. It's exactly the perfect color for my skin. I think, I think it is actually. And I did get six of these. The only thing is that I thought it, I'm really bad with these because look at what <laughs> I forget to smoosh it back down before I put the cap on and I like wrecked this one. It still works, but I have to work with it. And this is what it looks like. Perfect. I got six of them and I honestly, I'm keeping all of them. I was going to share because I did not think that it was going to be for me, but there's not a ton in here. And I already ruined one that I'm digging out with the contour brush. So... I'm going to keep all six for a dollar. I mean, they're only like five bucks regular, which I didn't even know. They're not expensive, but yeah, it's like the perfect shade for me. And it, it gets, when you go to the store to find your shade, it becomes very confusing for me because I do have like a lot of red in my skin and sometimes I'm tan. I don't know. I get really crazy. I can't decide, but this works. So I'm just happy to have it here, if that makes any sense. And I'm keeping it. And then I did find this in Jersey. And now this is so crazy. I found TM9. Um, and it is Tinted Moisturizer by Flower Beauty. It's very dark. If It's not very dark. But if you guys happen to see on my community page, my one of my best friend, Kathy, she's darker. So I found this for my girl. Well, I found it and I was like... That's perfect for Kathy and her birthday's coming up. So I found a few of these. Uh, they had, they had like, they had a lot actually. I mean, I thought flower was over, but not in Jersey. So this is, it just says shade TM9, nothing else. It doesn't have like, oh yeah, no, it doesn't have like a cute flower beauty name, but um, that's the only, it's so crazy because her birthday's coming up. And this was the only shade that they had in the store, which is maybe why it was still there. Maybe just it just so happens that nobody wanted the shade, but this is perfect for her. So I picked up of quite a few of these for her because for a dollar, she's going to love this. I already know this is she's going to be all over it. So I'm so excited to give that to her. I know she's going to love it because she uses a similar one to that by Clinique. So yeah, she's going to love it. What is there sunblock in here? No, it's just the tinted moisturizer, but it's it's very nice. I opened one and looked at it. It is very um like a uh, air air filled. Okay, so I put some on my hand. It's obviously very dark, but it's very it's very moisturizing, but it's very like fluffy. I don't know how to It's light. It's like a light um recipe or whatever. Then quite randomly I found two of these in that New Jersey store. And this is also Flower Beauty. Um, it's electric blue. It says coal eyeliner crayon all day wear. Velvety soft finish. That's so coal. KE3. It doesn't have like a cute name like they usually do. Um, it doesn't. There were just two and I bought them. I don't know, but I thought that I would keep one and give one maybe to a friend. A blue, I don't I don't know. I think I want to try it though because um it's so funny. This is this was like the very beginning of me trying these new colors cuz I had sort of watched like the beginning of one video and I was like, oh, "I don't I don't do all those colors." And then I found this 
and I had seen maybe I will try it so I picked up the two that they had and I don't know if other people are finding them in other places I haven't been on top of my Dollar Tree haulers as I have been in the past because I've been kind of busy but I was kind of excited to get these two because it's still flower beauty is not dirt cheap and I got it for a dollar it's something to try and something to share and uh my local Dollar Tree um mega slicks it's a mega slicks bomb stain and it's it's called carrot something it's called see if i carrot i know i'm gonna love this in the summer it's like straight up orange so i'm gonna love this in the summer with a tan it's really cute i don't know what the deal is with this like what exactly is a bomb stain moisturizing lip color I'm going to assume that it's like a chapstick with an orange tint. It's very, very hermetically sealed. I cannot open it, but it's, I actually love, love the Wet n Wild, like mega last matte lipsticks. I had no idea that they're dirt cheap in regular life. They're a dollar at the Dollar Tree, but that's like probably the greatest lipstick I've tried in years. It reminds me of MAC makeup for a dollar. So I feel like they're dupes of MAC and they're a dollar and in regular life they're only like 2.99 i never had even known about them till i found them at the dollar tree so i'm i'm very open to the possibilities of trying any color i'm wearing pink today i've never ever worn pink but i'm trying all new things so see if i care it see if i care it i'm gonna try some see if i care it next then I did find these and I have subsequently found many more gel polishes, but these are actually my very, very top favorite. Um, the Kiss brand ones. I found this gorgeous purple, absolutely love metallic purple. Who doesn't need that in their life? Instantly drying polish that you don't have to sit around and wait for. And then I found this like, like perp. It's actually like mauve, I guess. Yeah, I would go eggplanty, lavendery, deep lavender gorgeousness, and this gray one. And I kind of feel like these are going to be at the same time worn on the same manicure on one hand, because I obviously love to mix my polishes. It's my thing. I can't help it. I can't choose. So the more I can put on, the happier I am. But for a buck, this is an awesome, awesome deal. This is like a gray, and this is like a lavender and then this is like a over the top rock star purple i might wear them all together actually i think what do you guys think all three at the same time yeah i do i do i those are all one i love them they look perfect together or is it just me because i can't choose and then i did i did get a bunch of these to give out to the moms on mother's day I did try setting spray. I don't like it. Um, I like the toner spray by Hard Candy. I've tried that. And I have tried um, the hydrating primer spray. I've tried like everything at this point. I got in my Walmart haul and in my Dollar Tree haul. But the 12-hour hydrating long wear sheer energy set setting spray. I bought about 30 of these in multiple stores to give out at the shelter. Because I know people love setting spray. I personally find that it makes my skin really itchy. And the truth is that setting spray is basically like hairspray for your face. It's loaded with alcohol and um, I believe gl gl glycylic, glycolic acid, I think. Um, these items are, I, I've been using primer. Primer keeps the makeup from sliding down my wrinkled face. And I'm good with that or getting heated or whatever. And it keeps it where I want it. The whole setting spray thing is too much for me. I don't think that I will ever be a setting spray person. I'll just put my makeup on again or you can powder. But setting spray irritates my skin. I haven't found a setting spray that I've tried yet that doesn't irritate my skin. And so, or it makes me crazy itchy. And so, um... That's not for me, but who knows? I didn't know a lot of these things that are now mine and have become part of my world. They weren't a couple years ago. So you never know 
what I'm willing to go do in the future. Now, here's a crazy item in the Dollar Tree that I went to in Jersey that literally I bought last year in my Dollar Tree. The Hard Candy Look Pro Ultimate Contour and Sculpt Kit. I bought this last year at my Dollar Tree and it was in the Jersey Dollar Tree now. So I don't know if they were also like just backed up or what the deal was with that. But you know what? I bought these last year in droves for t for like everybody else. But I kind of was psyched when I found it. Wait, it says for medium to deep. Mm, it might be too dark for me. But I'm going to try it anyway. I, I bought it for myself. They had they didn't have a ton, but I'm assuming people snatched them up. I don't know if they found a box or I've never been there before, but I was kind of like, wow, you know what? I bought these and gave all of them away because I didn't really use all of this stuff. Last year, I didn't use all of this stuff, honestly. I only started using it this year. I used to not need all of that, but I did gain some weight and I need to contour the face. So like as of a year, I've only started to use contour. I never did any. I used to wear dark mascara, light eyeshadow, brows, bright red lipstick, and I looked great. As I've gotten older and a little heavier, I need a little extra stuff, and I'm okay. I'm willing to work with it. I'm not self-deprecating myself. I'm just being honest. This is total disclosure. I need more to look just as good as I did years before. It is what it is. So when I found this, I was kind of like, you know what? I get a redo. I gave them all away, but now I can try it again because I did buy that Broadway palette and it smelled, so I didn't want to use it. And I mean, I have some from like five and below and stuff, but I like to try new things. So this is a cream. Um, it's a cream contour. I mostly have been using like powder contours, but I like the idea of trying a cream one, even if it might be the wrong color before I spend a lot of money buying an expensive one or even this was originally $11. I figure for a dollar, I'll try it. See how it plays on my skin condition, like my older skin. And if it cracks or doesn't look good, then I will try a different type of contour, if that makes any sense. So I was excited to find this. This is like a throwback for me. Has anybody else found this lately at the Dollar Tree? Because I don't know if this was just something that they had or what the deal was. And then this, I did buy from that Dollar Tree also, but there was only one and it looks like death and it was like used practically looking, but I picked it up anyway because it looks like crap, but it's not opened. So I'm just thinking that it's been there for a long time, maybe. I don't know, but I picked it up. It's the Metal Eyes Look Pro. Do you guys remember these? They were like in my Dollar Tree last year but it does look terrible actually, but it's not opened. So for a dollar, I picked it up. I'm going to try it. It's not expired. I don't think I, it doesn't smell. Let me see. Actually it does smell. I'm not using it. I couldn't smell it in the store. Oh, this is old. Maybe not. Maybe. I don't know. It might have been old. It does have a new, it has a cool brush and it has a setting spray liquid. I might give it to my girlfriend. Their skin, my friend Kathy's skin is not nearly as sensitive as mine. So maybe she would want this, but I don't know that I'll use it. But I, I still bought it. And let's give this one a whiff too while we're at it to see if this is an antique Dollar Tree find. Sometimes they find a box of stuff that's like hidden in the warehouse you or like in the back room or whatever. Because I've seen that happen too where they bring things out and I'm like, whoa, where did this come from? In my, Especially my Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree is very backed up. So like I was saying, my Dollar Tree things come out four months later. But that's like, I literally bought these last year at Christmas time. No, this does not smell. Oh, that's so exciting. This does not stink. Okay, I could use this. Oh, yeah, that is really pretty highlighter. Honestly, the highlighter that comes with it is beautiful. 
So, and it does tell you the name of all of the things and you can order them from Hard Candy if you like them because this is just a small amount of everything. So I was kind of psyched. That's what made me the most happy is when I found that at the Dollar Tree in Jersey. I thought they were bringing these back, but I haven't seen anybody hauling them. So it's like a Dollar Tree anomaly. I don't know. And then I'm on my not lists. Um, I did get this when I went out with my girlfriends, but I brought it in from the car because I really want to use it. So I still have a ton of stuff from that haul, but I brought this in. It was in my uh, walkthrough. It is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Color Corrector for redness. I'm psyched about it. It looks so cute. It's that Wet n Wild with a cute little like anime looking face. And it does have this little applicator thingamajigger. And then it's the green thing. <laughs> the green thing. This is like the green color corrector kind of foundation concealer sort of formula that you can use to correct the redness that you get and you can also use it to correct some of the dark under eye with the concealer well I've been watching a lot of videos but I was psyched to find this because I don't really buy things like this I've had them I buy them for other people but I don't have any of my personal stash never have and now I do and then these are last but not least I bought myself this collection because they're so, so Eastery. Let me not break them. Let's use two hands, shall we? Yes. They're so Eastery. I'm gonna put them, honestly, these have gotta have a good throw because they smell good from through the glass. I can smell them. Coconut macaroon, love it. It smells amazing. I have a funny feeling that these are gonna be as good as the Valentine. The Valentine candles that I rehauled I love, wow, wow, violet confetti? No, candied violets. I was reading the French version. Candied violets smells incredible. It smells like those violet candies. Oh yeah, duh. <laughs> That's like what it says. Those violet candies, have you guys? Oh my God, it smells like I'm eating that candy. Have you guys ever tried that violet's gum? I actually don't love that gum, but I remember eating it when I was goth and it was like cool to chew, gu like I chewed violet gum and smoke clo smoked clove cigarettes. It, when you're young, you do these stupid things. So um, these are, smells like vanilla, delicious. It smells like Haagen-Dazs vanilla and it's in a blue glass canister or whatever this is, container. And then this one is mango smoothie. I love it. I love, 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 love. I love these. The glass that they come in is so darn cute. Plain and simple. You could like literally, when you're done with these, glue them on top of each other and make a tear tray out of them. Like just like that. Glue them like that. Glue the other two and make your tear tray. Boom, like that and paint the, the tins gold. I'm going to do that. That is going to be so cute. Yup. Cause I just think that these are perfect size for putting into making like a spring tear tray. You can use the chargers that are metallic from the Dollar Tree. The rose gold one would be cute. Wow. Yeah. It would be really cute. I might definitely do that, but I, I would feel bad using up the candles that quickly. So I do have a lot of candles now, but you know what? I haven't seen any that I'm obsessed with buying since then. So when you do see them in the Dollar Tree and you feel attracted to them, buy them. Because the next few months, there might be a dry spell of candles. So at least that's how I kind of like gauge my spending. Sometimes there's a lot of makeup else, but you just never know what you're going to find. That's everything I have to share in this haul, but I still literally have two trucks full of things to get, show you guys. So I'm going to try to do another haul tomorrow. I'm hoping to do it. I'll try to get it up by, sun, by Monday, hopefully. Anyway, that's everything. I'm so grateful that you guys have made it this far. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please give yourself a thumbs up and me too. And don't forget to let me know that you made it all the way to the end of the video so I can personally thank you. I'm so grateful to you guys for being here. Um, 
I absolutely love doing this. It's so much fun. And I'm just having so much fun communicating with you guys. Do check out my giveaway. Do check out the past videos. Do enter in this current giveaway because you're definitely going to want it. It's got a lot of really fun things in it. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.